For this video, I'll go over assignment four on chapter four. This one had a series of pipes that I uh, need to find the dimensions of. Um, so starting off here with section pipe section two. That's the first one. You know, look for that. But before you get started, you're gonna look at some of this information they give you. Um, some of this stuff is is a little tricky the way it's written. It's it's not. I don't think it it's very clear. So I'm gonna cross that out because and that gets crossed out. And this right here. Uh, this line right here is is in line right it's supposed to be in line here so this space here does not exist except for what you're looking at so pretend it doesn't exist when you're measuring here your your actually this this pipe goes here for all intents and purposes for this math problem so get to that when we get to that one all right so for number one looking for section two we see that we have three foot basically here. So we got 18 inches here because this is the center. It's three foot there, so there's going to be the center. Obviously, there's 18 inches, right? Half of three. And so if we just transfer this over, that's three feet because we got center here, center of one of the another water closet right here. And we just carry that over. There's another center water closet, and this is three foot. So we can just shift these dimensions over, or just say this is three foot here, three foot here, and three foot here. So that's nine feet. And there's a 45 degree triangle. And we can safely say that this is nine feet then. So center to center. And I didn't include fittings here. I should definitely do that. And then we'll probably go back and do that. So I get used to doing that. All right. Pipe section one. So for pipe section one, this was a tricky one because you just need to account for a few things. So what I did for this one here, with the help of some of the classmates, We've uh, heard them talking about it. Uh, Bill and uh, Lenio mentioned that this here is a foot. So that helped me out. And um, then I was able to get my correct dimension for this guy down here. Because that threw me off. So you have your 18 foot from wall to wall. Excuse me. And then you have this 9 foot piece here. And you have a one foot piece here, and then what's left over is that one foot section. And it goes into this wall. And if you look here, six inch wall, it's going to the center of the wall. So from here to there, three inches. So let's see if I wrote this out clearly. I'm just going to write that out here. So you have your 18 foot total length minus the one foot from walled water closet, 12 inches. Water closet equals 12 inches from wall. Okay. And let's see. Then we have this nine foot piece for number two right so there's one foot nine feet so right there we got ten so we're down to eight foot there or here I should say and then we have an, uh, we add three inches because we're going into the wall now beyond the eighteen feet ends right there but we're going right to there, which is three more inches. So we end up with eight foot three inches. Excuse me. And again, I didn't put all the 
fittings in there, but I should have, so I, I'm going to go back and do that, get it correct. But I know they reference them in the book where they talk about this problem. It'd probably be a good place to look uh, as far as how they reference the fittings. Center of Y to center of Y to center of 90. So. <coughs> Pipe section three, let's see, is right here. So with a 45 degree triangle, we got to travel here to find our offset or advance. We multiply that by 0 0.07, or I'm sorry, and then to find our travel, we multiply that by uh, 1.414. So we know this is three feet, so three feet times that, right? Give us what we're looking for. So, for section three, we have three foot here. Okay. And that could be our offset or advance times 1.414. 1 three foot times 1.414 and then we get four foot two and seven eighths inches and that ends up being the same for five too so because we got three feet and there we go so three and five would be the same thing and actually seven and nine together would be that also And it's important to, to know that because we're going to calculate that later on. So, okay, so then from 3, they go to 4. So for 4, we know that what we did for pipe section 2 was we just went from here to here to here to here. We got our 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. Well, for 4 foot, or section 4, excuse me, we could just go... 3 foot to 3 foot, there's 6 foot, A equals O, and we got 6 foot there for pipe section 4. Pipe section 5, same as number 3, like I said, take our 3 foot times 1.414, we got our 4 foot 2 and 7 eighths inches. Pipe section 6, Same thing. We just went over. So this is three foot here, got three foot there. Okay. Pipe section nine. We have one foot six here, 18 inches, whatever. And <coughs> that's going to be our offset or advance. And multiply that by 1.414 to get our travel. And that's what I did. And that's what I got. Two foot one and seven sixteen seven inch. Number eight. I'm sorry. Problem number eight. Section number seven. The way I did that was I took all these pieces, added them up, and subtracted, uh, or whatever I had left. You know, and then, uh, that's what I had. Let's see, so, you know, how did I do that? I didn't do that. What did I do? Like that. Oh no, I figured that this is one foot six. That's what I, or this is one foot six. That's what I did, and use that as a offset or advance, and then I got my offset or advance. Multiply it by 1.414, and it ends up being the same length as section number nine. Excuse me. Let's focus. Thanks for your patience. So anyhow. We got one foot six here. 
times 1.414 for your travel and then ends up being the same as this so these guys are equal distances and actually these two yeah so they're half this is half of that right so all you need to really know is that this is two foot one and seven sixteenths for each of these guys <coughs> but by observation you should realize that this is half of that now for section eight that was one that was kind of tricky for me. What I did was, again, we got our 18-foot wall-to-wall measurement. Okay. And just started subtracting things. Start off with this 18 inches. 18 foot. So I subtract this 1 foot 6 from wall B to water closet. I just called it number 2 because that was the pipe that was coming out of it. So water closet number two, that was one foot six. I subtracted from there. Excuse me. Apologize about this focus issue. It's going to be an ongoing thing, so we'll have to just kind of deal with it. And then, um, then subtracted another three foot there, three foot here, and then, like I said, this. In the beginning, this line here should be in line with this. So just never mind that space in between. Just consider this as the center of that pipe so that when they come down, you're getting the measurements all the way to here. And then from here starts pipe section number eight to there. Okay? So taking that into consideration, we got one foot six, three foot, three foot and one foot six okay and then we have three foot over here so that's what I did and I just numbered these water closets by the pipe that was going to them excuse me anyhow so eighteen feet minus one foot six minus three minus three minus one foot six and then minus the three foot over here give you six feet and hope that helps um, and thanks for watching let me know if I missed anything